Saint Benedict had a profound reverence for the cross and used it to evangelize, work miracles, dispel evil as well as exorcise demons. After his death, his devotees had a medal made that commemorated his life and it was later incorporated into the cross which he loved so much. This cross is now recognized the world over as the St. Benedict cross and it is so widely used by exorcists it is often referred to as the devil chaser. When worn with faith, the St. Benedict medal or cross calls down God's blessing and protection upon us and those we love from all that is evil. Wearing the cross is a prayer of exorcism against Satan, a prayer of firm rejection of all that is evil, a prayer for strength in times of temptation, a prayer for peace in our families, a prayer that the cross of Christ might be our light and guide. For us to be able to wear the cross with faith and not fall into the sin of superstition by using it as a talisman, we ought to familiarise ourselves with the details of the medal. And then we can be confident our use of it will become a constant prayer. On the face of the medal is the image of St. Benedict. In his right hand he holds the cross, the symbol of our salvation. And in his left hand, the rule for Benedictine monasteries, which he established. The images to his right and left commemorate two occasions when he survived murder attempts by his fellow brothers, enraged by his determination to purge his order of corruption. The poison cup to his right shattered when he made the sign of the cross over it, and the raven to his left carried away a loaf of poisoned bread left for him. Above the cup and raven are the Latin words which translate as the cross of our Holy Father Benedict. Encircling the figure of Benedict are the words which translate to May we be strengthened by his presence in the hour of our death. Benedictines have always regarded St. Benedict as a special patron of a happy death. He himself died in the chapel of Monte Cassino while standing with his arms raised up to heaven, supported by the brothers of the monastery. Shortly after, he had received communion himself. Below Benedict, on the face of the medal, we see the words that translate to from Holy Monte Cassino, 1880. This is the year that the medal was struck to commemorate the 1400th anniversary of the birth of St. Benedict. On the reverse side of the medal, we see the cross. It dominates everything. It is the sign of our salvation. Above this, we see the Latin word for peace. On the vertical and then horizontal arms of the cross are the letters of a rhythmic Latin prayer. Vertical letters represent words which translate to May the Holy Cross be my light. The horizontal letters represent words which translate to Let not the dragon be my guide. In the corners of the cross we have the initial letters of Latin words which translates to The Cross of the Holy Father Benedict. Around the margin are the initial letters of a Latin prayer of exorcism, which translates to Be gone, Satan, never tempt me with your vanities. What you offer me is evil. With this information in mind, hopefully now you are in a position to pray your medal, not just wear it, and use it as a channel of grace into your soul, your family, and your community.